everyone, I'm Jack Red. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, series, and I hope you enjoy it. I have seen all eight movies, so this is going to be completely accurate. I'm going to make sure you can hear my voice. Yeah. So, um, let's start with the original. Um, it's still one of the most remembered originals to a horror series, and, um, it's still a pretty decent movie. My um, cousin Nina, who lives in North Carolina, still calls that the best mo uh, movie of the series, which I can still understand slightly, because um, Johnny Depp was in that. Heather uh, that Oh, I, I I'm sorry if I cannot pronounce that person's name. I, I've been trying to find a way how to pronounce that right, but um, it's a pretty decent movie. I mean, it was about Nancy. Um, wanted to get revenge against Freddy, and then she found out that what her boyfriend told her actually worked on him, just to find out that it didn't stop him. Two was um, basically um, this kid named Je uh, Jesse, and um, he um basically runs into Freddy. However, he was using his body, so when it came to some nightmares, and um, Freddy ripped the hell out of him. To, to, to take his place, you know that he's not wearing his glove in this one. Only a, a, few, fair, a few, few parts, you're gonna see him with the glove on. It's a pretty cool movie. I have to admit that. I really like the original better, but um, this one scene then two really, really set the bar for the series. Um, I actually have three, four, and seven on DVD. Here's three. It's um basically about these group of kids who became one of the dreamers and they all wanted to take out Freddy. In the end, this one guy who, who that, that Freddy thought he killed him and so stopped him. Who would have thought that would happen? Still, he managed to get Nancy and that was good enough. Um, then here's four. This one is pretty good. Um, it's a decent movie. It's um, basically about this girl named Alice and she ends up getting, uh, getting their powers and then by the end of the movie she ends up playing Freddy on her own which is still one of my favorite parts of the whole movie then there were five where you get to see her again and this time it, her kid ends up stopping Freddy to only find out that he uses his mother's body to come back they move out just before it, it became a problem then there was sex, which is still probably the funniest movie of the whole series. For, uh, it's still a pretty decent movie. I can I, I can understand the love score for it, but I, it's, I love it, and it, it and me and my friend love watching it from time in and time out, and it's it, it really got me laughing. Um, let's see what else. Oh, seven, which I actually do have on DVD. It's um. Unlike the rest of them, this one takes place in the real world, and basically, it it, it forces the actress that was Nancy to be Nancy one last time to basically take on Freddy and to, to defeat him. So I like I like that addition by Wes Craven there. Um, then Freddy vs Jason. I know I reviewed this before. Now I'm going to review Freddy's side of the issue. They should have had him kill more people, and it, it just pisses me off that um, they did a good job with his younger sequences. It's just that they, I wanted more. I mean, Jason it didn't satisfy his party for team fans, but yeah, the Nightmare on Elm Street fans are pretty pissed. And I'm one of those fans. Anyway, I'm going to tell you what the whole series is before ending the video and my thoughts on the remake or prequel, whatever it's going to be. Um, the first one is not a Nightmare on Elm Street. The second one is Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Then it's a Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Then it's Nightmare on Elm Street Dream, uh, I'm sorry, Nightmare on Elm Street 4, Dream Mastery. Then it's Nightmare on Elm Street 5, the Dream Job. Then it's Freddy's Dead, the Final Nightmare. Then it's Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Then it's Freddy vs. Jason. Then in this one, According to resources, this could be the prequel, according to some, this could be even the remake. 
because of that strike going on. I won't be, I gotta wait a long time for this and find out if it's gonna be a prequel or a remake. But my thoughts on it is, as long as they have Robert England, then we got a good Friday. I'm glad they never changed him for anyone else to be Friday. I mean, there were some cases like the uh, Morphin Head and Super Friday, but um, getting back to the time we're going to hand, that um, I'm a pretty big Friday fan. I, 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 would, I would rather be killed by him than Jason, and I prefer his games over Jason's any day. And the show even had Freddy in it, and it was it was like um, Tales of the Crypt, a Creep Show, Tales of the Dark Side. You name it, it's like those shows. Which are all pretty good. Well, Creep Show is a movie, but um, it mainly became a uh, TV spinoff to Tales of the Dark Side, which leads to which leads to my final thoughts. Um, I wanted to tell everyone that sorry if I looked the same as the last two days. And sorry if um, the volume ain't up too loud for you. Because I will make sure the volume is up pretty loud. And I want you all to know that I do not take on with the insults. I have shown a bit of that on YouTube. And I am not afraid to uh, say anything. Unless it's something that can be thrown directly in jail. Other than that, I'm allowed to see where I want, and that's how America is, and that's how I'm going to live my life. So, see y'all later, and, um, one more thing. <sighs> I, I decided to, um, I'm, I want to do, um, uh, Jeeper Scraper series, but I'm starting to think I shouldn't do that, since I, I wanted, I wanted to be more than two moves. So, that's why, that's not on here yet. But if I change my mind and be on here, I'll let you know. See ya.